everyone, welcome to our first video on this artillery game. Let's explain how the artillery game works before we okay. play, shall we? Mm -hmm. What's so, the idea? it's like you use the velocity to, to make it go up and then make what go up? the projectile. Yes, to make the projectile you go up. You need to shoot something mm -hmm. and then boom, hit the other player. We also have to make, 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 make the projectile go shoot up and then go back down, like that. Yeah, so we take turns, right? Mm -hmm. for but the it took us projectile. a long time to figure out. And just in case you wanted to know, you can dodge it. You can dodge it. You, the, 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 the cannon cannot move. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have uh, increased the but level move, of difficulty by but, putting but, the but, block but in between. But can like, you know, turn, 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 turn. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 okay, dun, I think it's dun, better dun, if we show everyone. But this really is building on, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the like a gorilla game previously, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Where they used mm -hmm. to program it on uh, uh -huh. on on C, I think, and they throw the banana over at one another, right? Okay, now let's try and play this game, shall we? What you said, huh? Uh, but this game is a no one. The background change. Yeah, let's try to hit each other so everybody knows how you slide. I think we're quite bad at this. Good game. Oh, yes. Alright, you Dang got it. it. So I think you get the idea. Try. Now you see, one hit is different, right? One is seven and one is eight. depending on the good. Yeah. And we have now changed the level. Uh, the level as well. You see the leveling is different uh, for player one and player two. Oops. Yeah, so we can change the backdrop. So Um, let's go into the, the, the coding of the game. Now we have um, uh -huh. tried to... We made this costume. Yeah, we made all this costume. I thought pretty cool, right? Yeah, so let's go into the coding. Do you want to explain? Or maybe I'll start with the huh? the physics of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. so um, we spent quite a lot of time trying to account for the... Um, a lot of time! Uh, <laughs> gravity uh, and trying months, to... A few months, a few months. No, not, no, not, sorry, not no, so two long. months, two months. No, not so long. One anyway, month, one month. yeah, to, to make the cannon go up and down and also mm -hmm. to reflect the uh, projectile mm -hmm. coming out from here and also to... And, and it took so too. long that the, the latest improvement, which is the changing of the background, was just added today. Yeah. Like just now. 
Yeah, okay. So now what we did was uh, up and down, we set to zero, we put up some variables mm -hmm. for up and down. And uh, the idea is that uh, we put, okay, we, we took uh, player one turn, and uh, if you press the up key and down or down key, then you will just uh, turn by one degree okay. uh, up and down, right? That's where you see the 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 sound coming up and it's da -da 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 go up and, and down. Okay, and then it records, right, the uh, angle. Mm -hmm. Now, all this is input into the player one angle, uh, which mm -hmm. I will touch on later. After yep. that, the... Uh, yeah, the key space which shoots, which shoots the projectile. That's right. Now, perhaps we go to the projectile now. All right. Oh, um, oh and the projectile is yes, because once in class, my, my teacher said when they were talking about nerve wars, the one that comes out from the... From the from the gun isn't a bullet, it's a projectile. The the bullet only comes from real gun, that's what my teacher said. Oh, that's right. So now this so, is a projectile so, as well, so isn't it? So for example, it? if, if they throw the javelin, it's a projectile. I see. And so the now, nerf gun, bullet is also a... Wait, no bullet, projectile. Yeah, projectile. that's a projectile. So hence we call it the projectile. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we have uh, made a block called the tick here. And this mm -hmm. is uh, the gravity. Basically yes, the gravity. this is to change the speed. Uh, and this in particular was the more tricky part where you change the speed. Why? By minus one. And that's uh, miraculously, yeah? so it's magic. It just, that, <sighs> that, 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 that's just, that, that's how you include the um, gravity. True, true. Yeah. Uh, we also have included one more interesting thing here, which is the wind speed. Right? The wind mm -hmm. speed. But we can also, you know, Make it, you know, disappear. Make it zero, like, yeah. like, like what he said. When I cheated, it, it isn't basically cheating. It's, it's you. Um, for for random wind speed, you press Z, and and press X for zero wind speed, and that's what I did. Yeah, correct. I think people don't know what we're talking about until you tell them the code. Okay, so maybe when yep. it's that time, we tell them. All right. Uh -huh. Now, uh, so this will. Uh, so so this determines the uh, the, the speed of the projectile. Mm -hmm. So uh, like we said earlier, when you start as a clone, then if it's player one, one then point you direction. point in this particular mm -hmm. direction and remove fifty steps so that uh, the ball will start from uh, a little bit uh -huh. off center, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. And then we set the speed to x. Now this is the part where we really struggle and we did a bit of a uh, trigonometry lesson, right? To say that the speed x and y. At a particular angle, should it be uh what what should it be, right? So if we put it as <laughs> yeah, so we use what we learned in school. If I can show you what we learned in school previously, uh, is this trigonometry? Um, oops, actually, how do we do this? Yeah, if you remember what you learned in school, we which, remember. Which they, which they, which yes. you probably don't. You should probably don't. You remember that cosine, it's a uh, cosine of an angle is side over hypotenuse. Can we just and, um, uh, get over with this? Yeah. I yeah. Well, you get the idea. Now, so using this idea. Oh, and you should change the background. Oh, yeah, good point. So, uh, I have to do this because I don't know how to show that in. Uh, to show a picture so using this idea we 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 managed to set a particular zoom, speed you know yeah we set put a speed x to be equals to velocity times the cosine of this angle right Can so this is the yeah this is the uh this is the adjacent right and speed would be the opposite length so that's why we put sine of player one mm -hmm. angle. Let's now, simpler yeah, I think it's simpler if you are interested to just copy our code. <laughs> we spend some time. Might not be the best way to do this, like, but like, uh, like, like maybe about um, how many? Yeah. One hour? One hour? Uh, yeah. One hour? One hour? Okay, so after that, you can just repeat. Once you know how much to uh, cater for the yeah. X and Y, you repeat 200 times, uh -huh. it will just do 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 and yeah. just go. And uh, we have made it such that uh, the background is all just black. If you touch the background, then it's just gone, right? I think it really helps. Okay. Uh, we uh, can adjust if touching edge. Oh, yeah, good point, I guess. Yeah, so, <laughs> so now let's explain a little bit more about the 
player turns. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, sure. You explain. Okay. <laughs> um, while well, we broadcast, if you can see, uh, player turn, because uh, all this is uh, taking turns. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at the start, it's uh, player one, and uh, player uh -huh. turn is, I guess, here, right? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so once you press a space, projectile launches, then it's player two turn, player two's turn, and when it's mm -hmm. player two's turn, mm -hmm. then um, uh, yeah. then it goes to here, mm -hmm. right? So when you receive player two's turn, sorry, this is a bit messy. Let's clean it up. Uh, if you receive player two's turn, then you set the velocity, and then you uh you shoot the projectile yeah basically right so. because what you do here if you receive the players to turn maybe i should explain this is uh, then the dialog box will open to ask for velocity right between one and mm -hmm. then you set okay. now yeah. let's look at the projectile yeah wait no didn't we just look at the projectile yeah oh, no i thought mind. you want to look at the levels and how you change the level you want to explain? Mm -hmm. The black ground is well. What I I I I did most of it. I did most of the background. So it's it's the timer and and the sound and the leveling. So so when I when I receive level, that means it broadcasts from. Wait, what does it bro broadcast from again? I forgot. So yeah, it broadcasts from somewhere, which where I forgot. It it, it switches the costume to back five. It's, it's this. And last level is back six. Six. So just now we were doing the last level. Yeah. And and as usual, when we like click, always switch to the first backdrop. And forever, wait one second, change timer by minus one, that's with my timer of course, and then, okay. Hmm, this is, re this ah. really is the timing when the that's wind what, speed changes, that's, right? Um, it, it's like what I would, I would do. I did that right. Yeah, you did it, I did a bit of changes, right, mm. to how we determine what the, what's the timing, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, at some at different times, mm -hmm. the wind speed... The wind speed changes. Changes, it will pick a but random number. I did a shortcut. Yeah. I a shortcut. And this is, of course, if player, player one life is... Wait. One is dead. Uh-huh. Mm. When it's when uh, zero one, or less than zero. When player one is less, less than one, or... Wait, but I think you, you added this, this code, right? Yeah, correct. Because so I only remember doing this and this. <laughs> and if P, P2 less is more than P1 nice. Then P1. obviously <laughs> player two... WINS! Win. And, and, and I did the, you know, the speech. Yeah, maybe we can reduce the hold on. We can reduce the number of um. Maybe we can reduce the number of timer uh, the, the timing here, and then we can play one more nah, time. Nah, okay. That's not, that's not. Yeah. So are we done with everything here? The explanation. I think it was pretty mm. quick explanation mm -hmm. of this. And, and this is also the the game. same um. Yeah. Switch to his costume, of course, and then the wind sound, and then you of course stop off. This is basically the same except. Except, except a few changes and it says player one wins and costume to another costume and then the same thing but then this one is if p2 lives equals p1 lives so that means the same and timer equals zero then say draw and switch costume to back four which is i think it says Wait, wait, okay. Four. okay, then. Draw. Okay. Where is it where we have the uh, wind speed where we say that if you press X, it's going to be zero? Perhaps there in the projectile. Mm -hmm. So let's cover the backdrop as the last one. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, 
problem. I think if touching the projectile, V press. Oh, we didn't talk about all this. If touching the projectile, um, well, it's 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 quite obvious. Uh, the idea is that if you have a projectile and it touches the enemy, then it must change the lives by minus one, right? Um, for example, so projectile one, right? It will shoot, uh, and then if if uh, player two shoots projectile two to player one, then uh, if you touch, then you minus one. Now note that in this particular case, we didn't include the weight. One second. Remember, we included it. Wait one second in the past, just so that you won't hit you by too many times. Mm -hmm. We did it so that it just one hit one uh, minus one life. Mm -hmm. But in this particular case, we decide to remove it so that if it hits you properly, it can hit you many times. But if it hits you on the edge only once, it can maybe just hit you once. Right, so if you have a good clean hit, you can actually minus more than one lives. Okay, those who are following our previous program will know what I'm, what I'm talking about. Anyway, okay, I think we have come to the end. All right. Nah, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Why? Why did not explain the backdrop, which was the last one? Okay. And it's just of course. basically simple. When the green flag blink forever with sixty seconds, next backdrop. Oh, oh yeah, and um. Can I please delete this fact? Yeah, this sorry. Now? Thanks. So, so I just basically switch, 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 switch. But hey, uh, now that we've done it, let's clear it up a little, um, a bit then. Yeah. Oh. Um, okay. All right. Let's mm. go back to the number one. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I said go back to the backdrop one. I think that's the best backdrop. But okay, we'll leave it as that. Uh, mm -hmm. Those who are interested can come and uh, take a look at the code. Yep. Alright. Goodbye, yeah. everyone.